dictionary it says wild is uh, animals or plants growing independently of humans and in natural conditions so it got me thinking like should it be independent of humans or is it best if now humans step in it? so uh, i'm alex i'm 19 years old and i'm a dual national i'm swiss and i'm british um, currently studying zoology and ornithology at uni level and in the past uh, I studied animal management level 3 and got my diploma and um, I've got quite, I've accumulated quite a lot of experience over the years. I've always known I, I want to you know, do something animal slash nature related so I've been accumulating experience working as a volunteer in zoos and wildlife centres and uh, animal rescue centres. Of wildlife parks. Where did the idea for Earth Code Red come from? Well, it was it was born of the current state of our world. And I suppose as a young person it's quite difficult in being in this generation um, and you know being in the society that we are and being all plugged into everything all the time and everything that's going on around the world, we're much more aware than past generations were of what's going on on our planet. It feels like it's our responsibility as our generation kind of thing, which it is, and obviously it's everyone else's responsibility too, but it feels like it falls on our shoulders. And we're all acutely aware of how hard it is to actually make our voices heard and make it known what we want, obviously, because there's lots of other things going on. And uh, we're trying to live our lives at this age. You know, I'm trying to get educated and trying to get my first house maybe one day soon. I suppose the reason why I wanted to form like a collective kind of idea is because as a group we're much more efficient. We can all bring something to the table and make things function much better because everybody has their own niche within the group whereas on your own it can be really difficult to make yourself heard and get your voice out there. So that's the idea is as a group we'll, be, we'll have more luck making more noise. What brings you together as a collective? What brought us together was this drive to want to make our voices heard and get our ideas across and try and inspire other people, I guess, to, to, to do their bit as well. And it's, it's kind of also a need to well, educate people on, you know, events and issues that are going on worldwide with uh, wildlife and, and nature alike and so we want to talk about the good bits and the bad bits alike so it's about conveying a message basically and getting across that idea to more people um, than we could if you know there was one of us or if we didn't have that platform to transmit from why is it important to you and there are things that people don't talk about um, that are going on uh, atrocities worldwide you know and um, it, it needs to be well, it needs to be put out there in public consciousness and people need to know about it in order to be able to, you know, act on it and make a difference. Because we can when we come together and there's a lot of cases, you know, where positive things have been done when people come together and make a, make a difference and make an effort together. So, um, yeah, I want to talk about the bad bits and make people aware of the bad bits, but I also want to talk about the successes and the good bits. I want to make people aware of them too. So what motivates you? I've been, I've been thinking a lot about the wild and I always do, you know, when, when I'm indoors and especially since we've been spending a lot of time indoors lately, well, you know, I've been thinking about the outdoors a lot because I like to be outdoors and um, I like to be in the wild and in nature and I was thinking a lot about it in the, in the sense of, you know, how is it coping now that everybody's locked down and how things are changing and uh, it's actually coping better. And that made me think, you know, well, is it best if humans step back or can humans, you know, step in and try and help out? Because what is wild? Wild is uh, animals or plants growing independently of humans and in natural conditions. So it got me thinking, like, should it be independent of humans or is it best if now humans step in? And the more I thought about it, the more I thought that that definition should be a little bit tweaked because well, the wild can sustain itself, obviously, and nature does have an astonishing power for regeneration and it will return to its former glory if left 
unchecked, but there are sides to it that we have decimated to such an extent that now we have to step in to rewild it. And that's where rewilding comes in. And it's something I'm quite passionate about because of things like, you know, deforestation, overfishing, over hunting and that's when we have to rewild that's when we have to reintroduce the, the wild to the wild you know and i guess that's where the definition would be wrong and uh, and it would it would be with human help that we could restore the wild so that's when we have to step in stay tuned um this little series here is going to be you know members of the gang introducing themselves we're going to call it meet the crew and uh, you know, members of the crew will be introducing themselves, telling you a little bit about what drives them, their ambitions, and well, maybe a little bit about what they'd like to see change and what bothers them too. Do it again. <laughs> Do it again because it seems out of context now. I just had to think for a second as to what you're on about. Are we talking about? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat>